Are you serious? Are you serious? You're looking at an artist's rendering of a black hole. The black hole that you're, uh, this rendering is representing is an impression of a black hole feasting on matter from its companion star in a binary system. You see, the material flows from the star toward the black hole and gathers in a disk where it is heated up, shining brightly and optical, ultraviolet and X-ray wavelengths before spiraling into the black hole. Part of the disk material does not end up in the black hole, but is ejected from the form of two powerful jets of particles. Now, when we talk about, when Jesus says there'll be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing for fear of things coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Waves of energy. Now, here's the key thing here. See this ejection in the uh, artist's rendering? There has not been an ejection from this black hole. It's binary system. It's a black hole, binary system called V404 uh, uh, Sinai. And that's spelled C-Y-G-N-I, Sinai. There has not been an ejection since 1989, but on 6-15-15, on June 15-15, this black hole released two huge ejections from the disk uh, that was gathering around the black hole. Now, let me just give you a perspective how big this is. This black hole is 12 times larger than the sun. So get, get, focus on that a minute. Look at the black hole. 12 times larger than our sun is the black hole. And then the disk of material, of particles, gathering around, being drawn in, being sucked in to the black hole, is mammoth. Okay, I mean, that's all you can say. The black hole is mammoth. So the disk is enormously, outrageously, uh, oh, <laughs> beyond my comprehension in size. And they've been watching this thing. And the last time it ejected any type of um, particle waves was 1989. But this year, June 15th, 2015, it released. And that wave of energy that's released will affect anything and everything that comes in contact with it. And you know it's an exponential release of energy. So are this, could this be more waves of energy that could affect our earth? I don't know. Okay. But one thing's for sure, the earth is already encountering the first of five waves of energy. And between now and August 17th, we're under severe pressure from the first wave, which is considered a ripple. And already we're seeing record volcanic activity, record earthquakes over 6.0, plane crashes at record pace, and different types of earthquakes and things taking place. I mean, there's definitely a significant event taking place right now and now we have this so we're going to continue to uh keep an eye on what's going on here signs in the heavens the bible says jesus said also in luke 21 there will be uh great signs and fearful sights will be seen in the last days these are apocalyptic stellar signs in the heavens give your life to jesus christ we're in the last days, nearing the midnight hour.